Hello and welcome to Afis Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afis Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. I will carry Tinubu on my head if he ends government's reckless spending. Momodu. Now to the main news. Dele Momodu, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, says... He will personally carry President Bola Sinopo on the head if he is able to cut the reckless spending of his government and make palpable sacrifices. Mamadou stated this in a post on his ex handle on Friday. Criticizing, while criticizing Don Yokupe, ex spokesman to former President Olusegun Gombasanjo, for supporting Tinubu's government, he said, The people of Nigeria have never had things so bad and instead thereof, He is defending a profligate government with alternable economic hocus pocus. Momodu went on to say that no government can succeed with advisors like Okupe. Part of his post reads, My dear Edon, Dr. Don Okupe, I am more amazed at your flip-flops, sir. You are very no senior in engaging in, in sophistry since your days as a passenger spokesman in 1999. Till you fell out. You have defended almost all governments since then with your eloquence. What has Nigeria gained? The people of Nigeria has never had things so bad. And you are both defending a profligate government with alternable economic hocus pocus. I will personally carry Tinubu on my head if he is able to cut the reckless spending of his government, make palpable sacrifices. Ignite an agricultural revolution, empower our brilliant and energetic youth with vocational grants instead of distributing cash to phantom politicians, etc. But with advisors like you, no government can succeed. Well, if the government can really cut down on their, on their spending, the allowances they collect. This ministers just go to Senate House, to House of Assembly to sit down, to talk, to argue, to to decide on things that doesn't make sense, like cutting down the age of children that wants to enter university, things that are not necessary. That is what they discuss and they collect a huge amount of money. Meanwhile, youths that are working hard to make ends meet. Collect less than a hundred thousand naira, and you are there just talking. You collect five hundred thousand naira, six hundred thousand naira, because I saw them arguing on TV that his own salary is five hundred thousand naira and not six hundred thousand. What about the exp- the allowances that you people collect? The travel allowance, the house allowance, the car allowance, this allowance, that allowance that you people collect. Why not cut down on that? And let that money go into something else for the youth, like the education sector, like the agriculture sector. Let money go out. There is money in this country, but they are all spent by this by these um people in power. They are just so selfish. They are all about themselves. They will act as if they are helping you, but they are not doing anything. Please, they should cut down on the expenses. And I think that it will it will go a long way in helping the situation of the country, at least a little. My listeners, what do you think? Can you leave your thoughts in the comment section? Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.